Hey, now it's Anthony with a, a Professional Services. And before we start this video, go ahead and join the New Wave Facebook group. When I watch YouTube and I go to all these different Facebook groups that's detail related, all I see is wet paint, polishing. And don't get me wrong, I love a clean car. I love a shiny car. I love shiny paint. I love to see paint correction. But please, don't sleep on interior detailing because there's a lot of money in interior detailing. Take this vehicle, for instance, a 2020 Honda Odyssey, all right? I see some of you guys run from this type of work. Y'all don't like it. There's no glamour in it. But trust me, there's a lot of money into this. When you see a vehicle like this, you better believe they got at least two kids, sometimes three or four. And the way this vehicle look, y'all may say like, man, that's a lot of work, but actually, this is pretty common with soccer moms. And when those cars get trashed out, they don't want to do them. They'll pay top dollar, especially if you do good work. I mean, anywhere from 150 to 300, depending on what part of the country you're in. I mean, it's easy. Just get you a couple of paint brushes, some APC, some soapy water, a drill brush, a vacuum cleaner, a steamer. And yo, y'all know how I feel about that steam. It'll get all that sticky stuff up. Coffee spills, juice spills, Kool-Aid spills, crayons, bubble gum. All that sticky stuff. Maze, they'll tip you on top of the bill. Please, I'm gonna say it again. Don't sleep on interior detail. Some of you guys are sitting on the sideline and you're thinking, I should get into this, but I don't have a water tank. I don't have an elaborate setup, but I'm here to tell you, you don't need a setup to get started. You can start interior detailing with just a few products that you already have at home. Now, you can go to Home Depot and buy the shop mat or the rigid vacuum cleaner. And the steamer is at Harbor Freight. You know, look it up, just do the math. It doesn't cost much. I asked the customer, if I had to use her water and electricity, would she mind? She told me no. Most customers don't mind. They actually think that you're gonna use their water and electricity. Man, y'all sit and think on that. Shouts out to a new wave. Peace.